Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fallout 4 tutorial guide. Today I've made this one because a lot of people uh, seem to be struggling to find uh, this person in particular, um, a guy called Edward Deegan. Now this is part of a, uh, a long running line of quests that actually get you into the uh, Parson State Insane Asylum, so it's very needed. So to get in the um, this Insane Asylum, you need to be at least level 10, and then you need to complete the side quest, Special Delivery. Now, to complete this quest, you've got to kill the guards, as I've just done now, outside the asylum. Uh, but that won't tell you anything at all, uh, apart from that you need to um, you need to randomly come across a guy called Edward Deegan. So once you've killed the guards outside the asylum, uh, that mission will be available. But as you can see, it can't get in, it's unlocked, required key. Now, Edward Deegan is in four random um, locations in the map. Um, and the chances of running into him without actually hunting him down are quite slim really if, uh, if you're not much of an explorer or you've already been to these places that um, are required to find him and you've no intention of going back to them again that kind of thing so uh, yeah I thought I'd make this guide on how to find Edward Deegan he has four locations and I will show you guys the four locations now so the first thing I'd do to find this guy is kill two birds with one stone because there's two locations uh, in this place and uh, that is at Diamond City. Now uh, he hangs around bars a lot. Three of these are like bars or you know bed sits or whatever. So um, fast travel to the Diamond City Market and uh, we're going to be heading for the Dugout Inn and then we're going to be going to the uh, Colonial Tap House as well. So two places within these uh, within Diamond City so as you're coming down the main ramp into the marketplace turn right and head up as if you're going up towards the uh, the mayor's office or whatever it is but on the first level is the Colonial Tap House walk into there and uh, that will be the first place that you might find him now I'm not sure he could be in anywhere really but this is quite a small place this one so he's going to be very close in here um, he is like a uh, he's a like a synth or whatever you call him as well so uh, he, he, he doesn't look totally human so you'll recognize him but he will come up to you straight away if he's not in there exit out and head back down towards where you've just come up uh, right at the bottom of the stairway to into the marketplace and then take your first right and run halfway down here and you'll see there is the dugout in so walk into there and again he might be in here he might not he's not guaranteed to be in here but he will be in one of the four locations so uh, yeah two out of the way straight away so head down into here and uh, again just another bar area have a good look around here because there's quite a few guys in here uh, it'll probably be stood by the bar or something like that but there is like a little back room as well give it a good check but uh, he wasn't in here for me so I'm gonna exit out now and go to the third location the third location is the small settlement of good neighbor um, and we're going to be heading straight down the alleyway to the left of us as you come into good neighbor that's very close to Boston as well just to the uh, um, east of uh, Boston area so head down there you'll see it a mile away it's a big glowing sign it's all pink and that so uh, as you enter head down this alleyway and then uh, just to the left and then left again is the third rail uh, now this is quite a big place really uh, but again he will find you I actually thought that might have been them uh, him then because I didn't know what he looked like uh, but this is the third location, probably the biggest place you'll have to check really, um, but he does look a bit like that guy there, so uh, keep an eye out for uh, someone that looks like that. Head down the stairs and uh, yeah, just have a really good look around again, uh, talk to everyone you can, um, there's actually a girl up there on stage singing that you can actually uh, sleep with at some point if you've uh, got good enough charisma for that, so get your charisma up lads. Uh, uh, but yeah, anyway... Um, keep going into this back room again I don't think uh, he will be back here he'll probably be by the bar area but uh, yeah on to the fourth location which is the location I actually found him which was at the uh, market in Bunker Hill by this massive monument so uh, if you walk into here and you haven't found him yet you're pretty uh, sure he will be in here and uh, as you'll see in a minute he does come up to you and start talking to you uh, so yeah uh, well he won't for me because he came up to me and started talking and obviously uh, I started recording so that I could find him but uh, there he is anyway there is our target Edward Deegan and uh, glad to finally find him so uh, yeah there you go guys that is the four different locations you will find Edward Deegan he won't be anywhere else and if you don't find him after the four just in case uh, come back in you know 12 hours time if it's night come back at the day if it's day come back at night something like that but he will turn up trust me at some point 
So after that, you can obviously um, go and finish that mission in. He'll take you to tell you to go to K Cobot House, uh, and then do the next mission called Imogene Takes a Lover. And then after that, um, you'll get the Secret of Cabot House mission, which will let you into the Insane Asylum. So uh, yeah, you've got to do all that before you can get in there. I know it's quite a lot, but it has to be done but there you go i really hope this helps anyway i just thought i'd do a guide on it because uh, i myself didn't know the location so i thought i've seen a lot of other people asking about it on the uh, various different sites so there you go that is a full edward deegan location guide four spots and once again that was the dugout in in diamond city the colonial tap house in diamond city the third rail in good neighbor and uh, the market by the big monument in bunker hill Really hope this helps guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.